Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn how to calculate previous year's totals uh, for any given measure. And what we will do is uh, use uh, this file. I've got, I've uploaded this file to GitHub. It's called 38 this year versus last year's total. I will leave this link uh, in the video notes. So you can go and uh, download this file and do the tutorial along with me. Now I've got the fact internet sales table and I've got total sales amount here. Sales, sorry, sales amount. And let's say if I select the sales amount and I select, uh, let's say by date. So I'll select calendar year. And you can see that it's showing me the sales amount by calendar year. Now I also want to see the previous year, year sales here. So how do I go about doing that? Um, a couple of things I'd like to make clear. So we'll go into the data model and you can see that how I've joined the dim date table to the fact internet sales table is on the basis of order date key. So I've joined the order date to the full date alternate key. You have to make sure for this to work that the date keys are joined and not the surrogate keys. So if I join the order date key to the date key, this will not work. So that's one check you have to do. And let's go back to the reports and uh, we'll go to the modeling tab. We'll keep the fact internet sales table selected uh, and then we'll click on new measure. Why we keep the fact internet sales table selected is that any new measure that we define will now automatically get uh, become available in fact internet sales. If we had any other table selected, it would get created in that table, which is not what we want. So I will just type in total sales and here I will just say sum of sales amount. So I've just created one measure, which is the total sales. And I will use this to build previous year sales. Um, so keep the fact internet say, uh, sales table selected. Again, go to new measure. And we will call it previous equal to calculate. So we will just type in calculate and then we will type in the amount for which we want the corresponding last year's amount. So which is total sales, I will select that. And then what I need to do is say previous year. So we use a previous year function. And we pass the the joining key from the date table here, which uh, will be full date alternate key. So if we have a date table, what we need to do is pass the joining key, the, so the table name and the joining key, and we will close the brackets now and hit enter. And now you can see previous year sales becomes available to me. So I'll just select this again, and I will select previous year sales amount. And you can see that it is giving me the previous year sales amount uh, in, in the chart. For example, if I have the table and in the table I want to have uh, sales amount. And I want to have previous year sales amount and I also want the uh, year. I'll select calendar year 
and you can see um, it's visible I'll just focus it so it becomes so you can see that the previous year sales amount becomes available to us uh, let's go back to the report now so in this video we learned uh, how to calculate a previous year total in power bi uh, you can use this example to build other totals for previous years as well in different scenarios i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what i'm doing thank you